Hey guys, crew blowing back. I'm Aaron. I'm Calvin. Eric. And we're back with the finale of season two. Ugh. And with that, if you're watching yeah. this on YouTube, yeah. you will also find today, maybe a little later, season three, episode Ooh. one, should have just released as well. And we'll be having that as well as early access available for all the episodes for uh, four weeks early access. I gotta turn on the notification bell for Blind Wave because that's amazing. I'm gonna watch that later. Yes, don't forget. Yes, and if you're watching this on full length or uh, early access right yeah. now, you already did. If you're watching this on early access right now, uh, don't forget, here in a few weeks, season three is coming out. So. Ooh. But uh, before There's we get to season three, to. we gotta finish season two. And last time, we made an omelet. Yeah. And we are about to open the whole restaurant. Yep. Yeah. It and ended just before. Nothing bad will happen. No? Yep. No? Um, nothing bad will happen. Hopefully everything will go well. Totally we passed good. all our tests. Yep. Uh, we made the Michael. The Michael. Michael. Yep. Uh, and, uh, yeah. We just need some good days. Mom's coming. Oh, damn it, Eric. <laughs> oh, tickets coming in. Are we doing the drive through too? Remember the last time we were tickets? Yep. We're up on the great stand. Let's pick up that first I trust everybody here. Bacacha peas. Can we shot. also pick up broth for two and pick up oh, fish yeah. for four? I'm already too invested. Got a full board tonight. We're looking good. We're going to clear it, okay? Everybody feeling good? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Feel a little bit low energy in here right now. Hands, please. No smudges. Thank you. Okay, hey, got an order coming in. Two bucatini, oh, two t oh, We gotta change our background as always now. Why was a little bit of What do you think? What do you mean, what do I think? I think it's the best. Yeah? Matt, yeah. It's a beat. I like it. I think she's gonna love it. Oh my gosh. Just don't ask her if she's okay. Just don't put too much talk into what she's sure. That's what I gotta do. <laughs> Oh, and Richie. I like how we are going from character to character. Claire Bear. How was everything? Huh. His cousin, yes. You know he loves you very much. Well, you know what? I love him very much, too. Please don't tell him. Okay, that's great. I'll be back soon. Went yeah. into shot to take focus back. <laughs> Your daughter is very important to us. Very special to me, too. Um, just want to let you guys know that drinks are on their way. Uh, you're too kind, but I, I'm really a soda guy. I don't drink. We are well aware, sir. We got all Whoa. the sodas. Yes. <laughs> this is an experience. Oh, oh that's great. Little bit, uh, One shot, baby. Jeffrey. Yeah. I don't know where Josh went. What, what does that even mean? It means I don't know where the fuck you went. Okay, you stay on your station, I'll cover Josh's station. Uh, Marcus! Uh, okay, when they come out, oh, sorry. sorry I need a cutting board. board! When they come out, where'd Josh uh, go? Them... Yeah, where the fuck did Josh go? That'll go there, yeah. Hey, look, uh, you've been with me all day, and I just want to say something. Oh, yeah, the last time they talked. Ah! Uh, this is awkward! Cousin, uh, Claire's on 31. Okay. Go say hi. Yeah, eventually. Eventually? Where the fuck is Josh? Where is Josh? Yo, I'll go on and have a minute. I'm in the fucking shit. Leave me the fuck alone. I'll get there when I can get there. I'm saying, just... Yo, Chef Sydney, I need an all day. Thank you, Okay, who wanted to get more hectic? Are you happy? Mm-hmm. What, why are you ignoring me? Because you're mad at me? What? Yo, 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 quiet, quiet, quiet. Yeah, Marcus. Go, please. Just keep going. Just keep going. You don't have time. Damn, the alarm sound is getting me. All right, great. Uh, that'll go to 21, and that'll go to 52. I got, thank you. Thank you. I got 21, you 52. This is cool, though, following them back and forth. I honestly yeah. haven't seen many stitches. Fuck me again. OK, that's very sweet of you. I have to go fix the toilet. What? Well, maybe she doesn't have to, but maybe someone else. She has to get someone to. I don't know. Maybe the toilet needs fixing. and. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> you look great. Enjoy. That's fine. That's plenty of moment. Yep. Why are you fucking wet? Uh, because the toilet exploded. Oh, good. Yeah. 
Do you have any extra clothes of any variety? Uh, yes, chef shirts in the locker. Mm. Is he saying yes, chef? Why are you shirts so in the locker? Why are you yes, so fucking chef? Oh no. Who's that? That's his chef. Is it weird? Yes. Uh, yeah, this is not right. Was he really there? I don't know. I heard him whispering, so it seemed like it was like a nervous breakdown kind of thing. Where the fuck did Josh go? Where the fuck is Josh? Is Josh a plant? Did Jeff Winger want him to fail? What the fuck are these? How long have these been here? Those are seven fishes. These are cold. Uh, these are cold. These are fucking dead. No, no, no. Are these for the guy? Is this for the guy for the fucking what? Window? The fucking window is for the guy? Yeah, Why the fucking window? Save what the fuck? What? Please, just fuck? refire. Just refire. You were out there refire. talking about the Sid, so I'm Sid, Sid refire the sets. The They've been sitting here for fucking hey, ever. Whoa, refire. Watch it, dude. Way down. Way down. You gotta take it way down. I hate the alarm sound. It's, it's killing me. Yep. Here, just turn your head. <laughs> Better? No. That's <laughs> Calvin. <laughs> it's not me. Calvin's beeping. Oh shit, it is my phone. <laughs> Great. Okay. Oh shit, come on. What? What? Oh, shit. Oh no! Okay, uh, it's uh, Josh Farm, in there. Are, are you okay? No, no. Can you hear me? Farm's in there. Farm? Farm, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, 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 can you hear me? No. Are you okay? No. Mark, just give right. me the fuck out okay. of here. Uh, uh, right. What happened to the He didn't... He didn't talk to the fridge guy. Are we stuck in the walk-in? Are we stuck in the walk-in? We got a lot of food up here, chef. It's all up. <sighs> you can just hear him screaming in there. So what are we going to do? I love how calm Richie is right now. He tried it. Oh, fuck, 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 come on. Oh, God. Don't freak out. You got this. The only way to get through it is to press forward. Uh, Tina, can, can you run Expo for me? I got two stations, Chef. Yeah, right. Uh... What the fuck is going on? I can do it. Do it, Richie. Richie can do it. You got guys standing there to do hands? Richie's good. Let Richie do it. Yes. Let Richie take it. Let Richie do it. Yeah. Yeah. I stand for him. Alright. Okay. Yes! Yeah. Okay. Um, fuck this. I think I gotta turn this I think you're right, yeah. Fuck this. <laughs> Oh, he wants to look at them, right? Yep. Yeah, he wants line of sight. Right. You have five minutes. Okay. Five minutes. Every second counts. I got you, Chef. I'm so proud of my boy. Wait, <laughs> oh, you gotta wait. So much. Wait, 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 I want to see you first. I've always had a hype in my back, but I have pride. Ugh. Okay, Richie. Go. Give me a second. Come on. Drive. Take the wheel. Okay, guys, we're gonna refire. <sighs> Got you, okay? We're gonna walk that first. Yes, yes. All right. Uh, uh, hands, we gotta pick up some. The alarm's gone. Thank you, Richie. What do we got? They got a focaccia that's to table 20. I love the wood serving max they have. It's so cool. Continue to 30, please. Yes, chef. <laughs> you got it. It's okay, man. Chef, you did everything you right. Open. You got the people. Not right now. And he's picturing all that. This is everything we got to this point yeah. with. He's he's picturing everything that's happened that's going wrong out there. Fuck! And he just saw Jeff Winger out there. Four by two by two. Come on, Chef. Where am I? Uh, you're out front. You nuts? Sack. No, no, no. You're nice. So just be nice. You know, pour water, pour wine, read minds, just check in. I can't do this myself. I can't do this, but you know. New World Order, pal. <laughs> Scared. Neil? Yep. Chef, can I get caviar bowls to the line, please? Don't be scared. Okay. It's just Chef. That's the key. It's just... Don't be that way. Okay, guys. 
Five cannoli all day. Yes, sir. All right. We got eight bucatini. Oh, no, fuck. Sorry. Nine bucatini nine all day. It's like Carmi's anxiety is literally a character. We're working against it. <laughs> it is. It is a character. <laughs> it's trying to get out. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what's the circle mean? Oh, uh, my dad. Okay, pick up lettuces for six, please. Chef. Marcus, we're gonna 86 the mustard. Emmanuel doesn't do cherry, chef. Thank yeah, you. Chef. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> More forks. Okay, guys, listen up. We got 48 menus down, so we are full board, okay? We need to fucking drill, guys. Who's ready to fucking party right now? Yeah. <laughs> Call back, just fucking go. We're all Call gonna be back. smoking cigarettes soon. <laughs> Five, seven, just keep going, guys. We are almost out of the woods. Let's just Five. keep fucking going. I love you fucking guys. Here we go. <laughs> no, fuck you. You're terrible at this. You're no good at it. Fuck. Go faster, motherfucker. Keep going faster. Why are you so slow? Why are you so fucking slow? Don't fuck. Can you not handle this? Is it too much for you? You are not tough. You are bullshit. You are talentless. You should be dead. It wasn't even him. Yep. Who is that guy? A specter. He did man. look mad, didn't he? Impressed, good. <laughs> that looked like a happy head shake, right? Yeah. Fackerson. Yeah, dude. Can is he just in the flowers? Oh, yes, I think he was like hiding his face and smelling good at the same time. Uh oh. She showed up. Mm hmm. No, no, no. I, I, I don't want you to tell them I was out. Oh, no, 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 it's no, totally no. okay. We got a seat for you. Oh, I, I, I know, I know. Yeah, d d um, no, I just, I was thinking. Oh my gosh, it's so cold out here. She has come to look, but is so not actually going to bother him. Maybe. So You'd be so proud of them. <laughs> oh, I, I am, Pete. I am, I am. I just, I, I just don't think I can take it. I love them so much. I don't have to say I'm sorry. So, so please, just, please, just go in and just tell me it's okay. And I don't want to hurt it. No, you're not going to hurt it. I promise. I promise. Plus, we got to get all the dinners in before the baby, so. Oh, his baby. Oh, fuck me. Um. Uh, Oh. oh, you're in bed. I thought she... That's wonderful. Uh, That's oh, wonderful. no, Pete. I will call them. I will come in. I will I, I will talk to them. I will. I'm just... I need you to say it's okay. Donna, don't... I need you to say it's okay. It's okay. I enjoyed her self-awareness. I'm glad she's not there. Beautiful. Yo, where's the new kid? Disappeared. Josh. Find that motherfucker. Yes, sir. Okay, and fuck you. Five minutes. Yeah. 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 Sorry. <laughs> dude, dude, what the fuck are you doing? Dog, is is that meth? Oh God, barely, dude. I'm so sorry. Oh. No, 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 just, just a little bit. Help you work. Wild. <sighs> Josh is not doing meth. So wow, sorry. I didn't think that was gonna be the answer. Of where's Josh? Doing meth. <sighs> awesome. Dog, dog, no, dog, no I, I think I gotta fire you. What? For this? Yeah. Are you fucking serious? I mean, I, I think so. Let me check. Yeah, check, right, <laughs> check. Right. You are being so fucking weird, man. <laughs> he, he left work to smoke meth out back? For this? You gonna fire me for this? Barely. It's barely I'm meth. I wouldn't hold it against her. No. Not this one. Shit. Yes. I know things have been weird between us today. Yeah. I don't, I'm just saying I think I found something that'll make it better. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Yes, this is how you do it. <laughs> I, yeah. Okay. Uh, 
That's wild. That's what I said. That's what I said. <laughs> Kick so much ass. I mean, that just can't be true. I mean, we saw him cutting those carrots earlier. Huh. The awkwardness. It's okay. I think I work here now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I should hope so. Well, you're good at it. Fuck it, right? <laughs> and what's that? Mr. Kalinowski? Who was the surprise? Mr. Jeremovich insisted. Oh, he did, did he? He did. Was he trying to fucking kill me? Take a bunch of money? What is it? Chocolate banana. What? You, um, you tell Mr. Jeremovich thank you for me? I will. Thank you. Enjoy. There you go. <sighs> he was doing crack. <laughs> he was. I can't believe that's the answer to the question. <laughs> oh my god, it was incredible. Right? So fire. So good. Congrats. Yeah, man, thank yeah. you. Is this a good time to go back and see him? No, uh, probably not. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> probably not. God. <laughs> <sighs> it's not gonna happen again. No, that is so silly, baby. Is it just yeah. too hectic right now? Yeah. Well, Jabba got his ass. Yeah. He's in there solo. Han oh, Solo. Yeah. Done. Do you know? <laughs> Jabba got his ass. He's in the carbonate He's freezer. Carbonate freezer. <laughs> what? You said it's out of Tony paper. Yeah. Reload it. Yeah, Tony. Tony. Tony's the fridge guy. What the fuck are you talking about? He's. He's. he's He's getting frozen. He's locked. A little pimp and is cooked, okay? A little pimp is cooked. Mm -hmm. Stop saying that. He's in the walk-in, but it, like the door handle came off. You know, maybe, maybe I'm just not built for this. Right? Maybe that's okay. Hey, could you um, just go out and check the front for me, please? I'm just gonna get some air. Yeah, chef. Sure. One sec. Go out and scream fuck. Next to the cracker. What was your name again? Kelly. Theodore Fack. I like that barrette. Seriously, it's nice. Thank you. Looks it's from good. France. Neil's brother. Yeah. Cool. Proud of him tonight. Seriously. Yeah. Congrats. Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I didn't cook it. I've seen some people do that, and he is that guy. Like I was gonna be in a relationship. I'm a fucking. I'm a fucking psycho. That's why. That's why I'm good at what I do. That's how I operate. I am the best no. because I didn't have. I hope she's not hearing this. Maybe it might be good. I don't need to provide amusement or enjoyment. I don't need to receive any amusement or enjoyment. It's just a complete waste of fucking time. <clears throat> I'm really sorry you feel that way, Carm. Claire? 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 Don't walk away from the man stuck in the ice chest. Thank you for everything, cousin. I'd be like, yo, what did you do? Yo, what the fuck did you just do? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what she heard. Fucking know. asshole, what did you just say to that fucking girl? Shut the fuck up and get me the fuck out of here, please. Oh, yeah, I'll get you the fuck out of there, Donna. The fuck did you just say? I... What the fuck did you just say? Nothing. Richie, what the fuck did you say? That's what mom does. Damn. Yo, cousin, I don't understand why you can't just let something good happen for once in your fucking Are life. You fucking what the fuck is matter right with now? you? Are you fucking kidding me? No, I'm not fucking kidding you right now. Someone's got to tell you this shit. Fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah, fuck me. Here we go. Yeah, fuck okay, you. Okay, yeah. You wouldn't have shit yeah, without me, so yeah. Yeah, all right. 
you, tough car. You would be able to pay yeah, for your fucking yeah. life? Yeah. For your fucking kid? You oh, fucking okay. loser. You want to talk to me my fucking you kid? You fucking loser. Yeah, at least I got a kid. You don't have shit. You don't have fucking shit. Where were you when we fucking put your fucking brother in the ground, you selfish piece of shit? No, you're obsessed with my family. That's what you are. You fucking leech. You're a fucking leech. I'm obsessed with you. You fucking leech. Yeah. I should have cut you the fuck out. I fucking love you. I should have cut you the fuck out. You fucking need me. I fucking love you. You fucking need me. You need me. Fuck you. Fucking need me, you motherfucker. Fuck you. I'm gonna bust out of this thing. Oh, <laughs> gosh. Have they called anyone to get him out of there? Frozen food? Who are you gonna call? Can you eat frozen food? Fire department? Yeah, fire department. OSHA? I don't know who to call. Terry! He ain't picking up. Terry, we need you right now, guys. Stuck on the freezer. I'm putting on my damn socks. I'll be there. <laughs> I know it can be hard to like find a second to feel good about what you're doing right in the middle of when you're doing it, but uh, I just hope you know that I'm I'm so proud of you. I I really love you. It's like the thing his mom couldn't do. Mm-hmm. Why he called her? He called him uh, Donna, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, Donna. <sighs> I, I don't think that's the reason. Did she call him Donna? I think it was a different reason. <sighs> I think that, but Claire just did what his mom couldn't do, which was say how proud and stuff she was. How was food? That's incredible. Absolutely incredible, baby. It's the thing. <laughs> half a world, half a world away. That's what they sent. Mm -hmm. I had too much to drink. Oh no. Oh no. Just nerves and stuff, or what? Probably. Dang, man, it's over. Man, it went one shot, and then like when everything started getting real crazy, it switched. Yeah, and it started cutting. Some of the cuts were pretty crazy. But yeah, I think I think when it started out. cutting, it was like really effective. Because like up to that point, you you had the flow. You could feel where the camera was going, and you could, you know, you understood the pace and the direction and everything that you were going to go. But then when it once it started cutting, it just totally cut your legs out from under you. Uh -huh. Very, very disjointed, very unsettling. Whole episode um, was like that. Just, just incredible use of of the camera and mm -hmm. movement and. Yeah. Framing, yep. uh, yeah, it like eased you into the stress that they were having as well. Yeah, because so, like, even the the but he, um, I kept waiting for the end to like go the back in the kitchen and stuff. But yeah, now from top to bottom, the whole episode was like designed to have a mirror like, and have these contrasts. Like you would have like the frantic beeping and everybody's like going nuts and like, stuff that's starting to go off the precipice. And then when Richie comes in, you put in the you put on the REM and you yeah. know, like it, like it's not the one shot anymore. Now we're cutting. You know, like there's a lot of different uh, contrast in this episode, like how people react to certain things, one way sure. versus the other. What Claire did versus what the mom did. What versus what Carm does. And you had like the boundary of of the glass wall mm -hmm. being like complete chaos on one side, and then yeah. complete calm mm -hmm. on the other. But then, like sometimes the chaos would spill over into the calm. Yeah, you know, you'd have. Uh, you'd have Sugar, you know, freaking out in the bathroom. You'd yep. have Fac burying his face in flowers. Yeah. You know, just little small expressions of, of the absolute terror mm -hmm. and and panic that was happening in the other room. I just, I loved that, like, balancing linchpin of, of Richie just 
taking his spot back there. Yeah. And it's like, it wasn't the alarm that was setting the beat or the music that was setting the beat. It was him, you know, in, yeah. in his edit, like the way that he would come back into the to the forefront and command attention. So good. No, I like seeing the growth <sighs> of him a lot and then seeing him take over there. Yeah. Like, you guys are like, oh, I'm so proud of him. Like, oh, I'll be proud Same of him when I see him succeed. <laughs> he's succeeding now. What do you mean? Huh? He's he's just, already just doing so much more. Just the first so two more. things he there is so much more yeah. to be proud of than what he what he used to do. The first what? Even just like the two things that we like two first orders, I would have been proud of proud of him. Well, yeah, you guys were proud of him before any orders and things happened. Absolutely. He, he yeah. just said, "I can do this." And He took off his jacket. Oh, I'm so proud of him. I'm yeah. Like, I'm not yet. Well, no, 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 no. Isn't that... Before he would say, "No, you said you could do this. Yeah. My hands are off." Like, just him saying that I can do this and volunteering for that work is is still above. You know what we've yeah. seen him before. Just doing it. I mean, he he did what what the mom can't. Like she can't just start to have that conversation. Like just starting it is an achievement for these people. I don't know. And Richie. he just started. And I am so proud of him. And nothing you say will take that away. Richie, Richie, <laughs> Richie would take charge of all kinds of things that he just wasn't able to do. Yeah, but now he's able all to do the it. time. Sure, I just that's my point. <laughs> my point was no, that like, I want to wait for him to do it mm. and then be proud of him. Not be proud of him just saying, like, I'm going to do this. I got this. Because, like, that was the same thing with the mold he did. It was the same thing with, like, uh, whatever it was before he got shipped off. I can't remember. There was another thing. Sure. But it was always, like, he said he could always sure. do it. The difference being I that now I have Richie sat. I love Richie come through and, like, come out with this where it's, like, mm-hmm. I have the confidence I can do it. And now I know I can do it because sure. I've sat through and it's going to be me. It's not relying on anyone else. Yes. Not, nothing else about it. It's just him and he's doing it. Yes. That's, that's, that's the my part, part I'm proud of. That he is doing it. That we got to actually see him build a skill and be able yeah. to have the confidence to say, I can do this. All the other times that you're saying, it was Ill, without confidence. He, he just like thought he could do it and he, he couldn't. But we actually see him build it to this point. So with him getting to the point of rising up being like, I'm going to do this, I can take all that experience as a viewer of watching him build the skill set and be like, you should be proud of this. You should want to do this. Hmm. So in, in him doing it, and it was like me jumping off the the precipice as well which is why I love that part I agree with him doing it is when I wanted to jump but beforehand I would I didn't want to that's my point gotcha like he would I feel like he would do that all the time and say he would do it I love seeing him succeed in doing it because for a second there whenever Sydney looked at him mm-hmm. and he said about driving he had a look on his face and I was like is he about to freeze or what's he doing I don't want him mm-hmm. to freeze I want to see him succeed and then he did and then I'm like yes I'm so glad Richie did this like, if he would have froze there and been like, I can't do this, and yeah. ran out of the room, you would have already said you were proud. No. And he would have freaked out. I would have been disappointed I because I, I, at that point, yeah, I had exactly. faith I in him. In it. So I knew it was going to happen. I'm like, like no, do it. was it. all that work of going through the show and having enjoyed him for so long that, like, my faith was rewarded in that moment. I didn't have mm-hmm. to wait for the actual success. I could just feel it coming, you know, which is my favorite part of shows like this. Mm-hmm. All right. How do you run out of forks? Shouldn't you theoretically have a fork for every seat? Let's say yeah, but then that fork is dirty and it's heading back to the kitchen before it gets washed before it can go out and get the table ready for the next group of people. So they do have the amount of forks to just not washed yet. Well, they didn't have enough forks to make to have the dirty forks be making the trip back to the kitchen and the clean forks be making their trip out to the table to get it ready. Okay. So at max capacity, they should have two forks for every seat, and they don't have that amount. Yeah, ish. But that's also expensive. I think that's why they ran out of forks. Because they were trying to, like, get the minimum number of forks bought yeah, and sure. paid for. They didn't have a lot of money. Yeah. But And Carmen promised that they had enough forks. Mm. But I don't know how many they had. They didn't, sure. it didn't look like it was that big of a place, really, right? I mean, they had, like, 40 tables? I mean, I guess or they said 50, they said 51, 51 or something 51, at one point. Yeah, at some point. So, I don't know. Maybe there's a lot of two tops. I think if there was the uh, proper amount, like, it'd be easier to wash them than it would be to. I'm sorry. <laughs> so you had hair, <laughs> beard hair getting stuck in. It also could be Sometimes like it loops in. towards the beginning of the episode, they were saying like, you know, what is what is he doing? He's seating all these six tops. As soon as they come in, mm-hmm. there's they were supposed to stagger them like every 15 minutes or sure. something like that. So maybe that's why they ran out of forks, is they were getting seated too quickly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But no, it was supposed last, to be like a crash. Yeah, last episode had like night, a fifteen right? minute stagger, right? Is that they yeah. said in the mm-hmm. last episode. And then, but also, she said something about Richie was, he's just seating them, he was fucking seating them, not not. Yeah, no, that's what like I, that, that's right? what I was saying. Yeah. So yeah, I guess that 
I don't know. Would that throw it off? I thought that was more for like getting the, the cooking going. Well, I, that and also like. I figure if you have 15 minutes between one table being seated and then the next table being seated, mm -hmm. like, well before, like, the fifth table is seated, the the first table is getting up and leaving and you're, you're busing that table, and then that can go here, over here clean, or whatever, or... Yeah, I mean, it depends on the rotation you know. of it all. But even then, you have someone drop a fork, or you have someone... Sure, lots, lots of things can happen. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But I would say you should probably have two for every seat. You know what happened? I've heard stories of people like that are told to like, hey, you know, I want you to to fold the the napkins with the silverware, and I I want you to show me like all the silverware and napkins and stuff folded in the in the basket before I leave, like a super like controlling manager or whatever. So they just have a basket of the pre done ones in the trunk of their car, <laughs> and they just bring that in and show them. <laughs> And then when they leave, they put it back in the trunk of their car <laughs> so they don't have to do <laughs> all the, the bullshit. <laughs> uh, like, they do it. Huh. Like, they do one basket the way, like, the manager wants them to do it, like, perfectly folded and wrapped uh, up. So it's more of, like, how nicely folded everything is? Yeah. But, uh. but then they just wrap it up and do it, you know. It doesn't have to be perfect every time because it takes, like, three hours of work. So maybe that's what happened. Somebody who just had like a basket of forks in their car. <laughs> they had a bag you threw in the sink, so at least then they had enough. Yeah. I love Richie and Carmen's relationship specifically. Like the way that they were throwing emotional haymakers out there. It's like, I mean, I know it's not exactly this, but there's a feeling to me of whenever I saw that scene that Richie kind of like knew that Carmen needed to tire himself out emotionally in a way. Like, I'm not saying those feelings weren't real and the things that they were saying were necessarily real, but like, I feel like he, there was a certain recognition that Carmen needed to get everything out while he was stuck in there. And Richie is just able to sit there and exchange punches with him. Because he doesn't really do that with anything else. It's only Carmen that kind of pushes him that far right now. Or sure. At least what we've seen. Just... It, it feels like he's almost taking a step of what him and Michael used to do. Well, I mean, maybe. But I also feel like he didn't do that with Michael maybe when he should have. Mm -hmm. And that's partially why he feels responsible. Yeah. You know, maybe if he had given him some tough love. Yeah. And, you know, forced him to, to confront some things about himself mm -hmm. and about what was happening and, and all that stuff, maybe it would have ended up different. Yeah. Maybe that's why he's being... Hard, hard mm -hmm. on uh, Carmen. Yeah, I don't know. I like the mom scene though. Like, mom scene was rough. She's there and watching, but she's like proud and happy for them, but feels that if she goes in, she'll ruin it. And it, I mean, mm -hmm. that aspect, I guess, like you could say, Carmen's fear of, like, like his conversation about not being happy. Yeah. But I think mm -hmm. the reason that like Richie called him Donna was. Is more related to that than it was the uh, saying how much he cares. Like I don't think Carmen has an issue sometimes saying about how much he cares. I think Carmen feels like he can't. He's not allowed to be happy. You know what I mean? Whereas, sure, he's undeserving of, her, of joy. Yeah, some of her elements there may have been related to that, but I think her being there was confronting the fact that she doesn't want to ruin it for them. She doesn't want to go in there and like I don't know how to say I'm happy. I don't know how to say I'm proud. I'm don't just know gonna, how to I'm say I'm sorry. I'm just going to go in there and make things worse because that's what I always do, and I don't want to do that. And I think Carmen kind of has a little bit of that element where it's like, if I'm happy, I make everything worse, I guess, maybe? I don't know. I don't think he's like his mom, but I can get some of the idea of it a little bit. I mean, I, he, I can see the pattern of him having grown up around his mom because there's, there's certain tendencies that he's taking on a, a form of that behavior. I mean, it's a, it's a matter of, like, what what the mom said. Like, I don't deserve... Like, she doesn't think that she deserves these things because she can't say I'm sorry, right? Like, she's guilting herself. And granted, granted, I don't know, like, what the actual parts of her... If she has any, you know, uh, mental stuff that's going on or whatever. At the very least, like, her narcissism won't let her do that. But she, I, I love, like, the honesty of recognizing this is how I am. You know, and Carm, he kind of had that moment too. And unfortunately, Claire had heard it when he said, "I don't need to provide or receive any amusement or enjoyment." I think that 
if that were me, and I, I truly felt that way, and I felt like he was telling the truth, I would feel guilty being in that relationship because I wouldn't want my partner to be with somebody that needs and provides abusement and joy and those type of things. You know, Because he doesn't need it, I think he kind of feels inadequate, thus he doesn't deserve that love. Just like the mom feels like she doesn't deserve uh, a mother's role in the, because she feels like she's failed as a mother. Yeah, Just that and she cannot say that because she's too proud. And well, it, he can't say that because he doesn't. He just doesn't want to. It's it's a vulnerability when you're when you're saying like I'm sorry I've mm-hmm. I've messed up or, yeah. you know I'm proud of you. It's it's opening yourself up to something that could hurt you. Mm-hmm. You know, and I think that's why she doesn't want to. Yeah, she doesn't want to make herself vulnerable. That's why she would always get upset at sugar whenever she would ask her is like are you okay it's mm-hmm. like am i okay yeah, yeah i'm okay like like she can she recognize that she's that. she can recognize yeah. that she's ruining like the moment but she can't take responsibility for it in front of them or else there's all this other baggage she has to accept uh, take responsibility for too sure right and well. i think i think that vulnerability aversion hmm. is also in carmen as well do you think? I mean, because we haven't talked about it. Using yet. it as a as a way of insulating yeah. himself from something that could hurt him. Do you yeah. think she wouldn't hurt herself? I was worried. Huh? Do you think the mom wouldn't hurt herself? The nurse kept trying to call. I was just worried. no. That That's was Marcus's, Marcus's mom. mom. Marcus's mom. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Good. But I, 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 I was I, also worried about. Okay. When it popped up, I, I, I had looked up and only saw the phone, and I assumed it was Carm's phone. Okay, my bad. Oh, uh, yeah. No, that's Marcus. Like, Marcus was worried about going to, uh, what was it, Copenhagen? Is yeah. that where he went? To do his chef yeah. school, and, like, he was okay. like, we'll take care gotcha. of her, we'll be fine. And I guess she was fine then, but yeah. here, this night, when he, and I think they made sure to show him knocking his phone off whenever yeah. he was trying okay. to get all the stuff. Yeah. Like, he did not see a whole bunch gotcha. of missed calls or texts or whatever it was from his mom's okay. nurse. Yeah. All right, good. Because so, I, 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 I took that the wrong way when I, I just saw the thing. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, no, is that... Does their mom have a nurse? Maybe I mean, she's older. Maybe she does. <laughs> I don't know if she does gotcha. have any mental problems. Maybe she does. And she left that and hurt herself or something. But I'm glad that that's not the case. But now I'm worried for different reasons. Sure. Yeah. No, I mean, the, the element of her being like, I don't deserve to see this is sad. But I also, I, I get what she means of like, at a point, like you said, of self-awareness where we saw the Thanksgiving and if... Yeah, the the theme kind of felt like don't go in there. It's how she always is. Yeah. You know, just leave her alone. It'll be fine. And Sugar's always like, "Are you okay?" Like, yeah. if she's able to contemplate on all of those kind of moments mm-hmm. and be like, "They are getting this moment. Yeah. This has nothing to do with me. And if anything, I made this harder for them to achieve. Yeah. I don't deserve to see this." Like, she went there as a way of like, I guess, support, but also being like, if I go in, what positive things might come out. And is it better if I just don't go? Yeah. And she just she thinks there's a higher risk of something bad happening than something good happening. Sure. And that's very possible. I mean, we saw what happened Thanksgiving, you know? Who, yeah. Who knows what could happen? Like, she feels like she's so in the wrong for herself. She, like, was begging for someone to say, it's okay, you can go. Ugh. Jamie Lee Curtis just has so much, like, tension in her. Like, yeah. you can just, like... It's like she's literally trying to get out what she says. And so when she actually does, you just feel such a payoff. But she's just so good. Uh, I mean, for the small amount of time we've seen her on the show, maybe my favorite performance from her ever. I I haven't seen a ton of stuff with her in it, but in in terms of like just acting, that was was pretty good. You You don't count hot dog fingers? Uh, no, I I love that part, but no, no, I don't think that I'm, I'm that specifically didn't like challenge because I don't like her, you know. In this, like I dislike her in this, but like that made me just feel for her in a way that I didn't I didn't expect to feel for her this episode. Uh, and it was just because of her sheer self awareness, mm-hmm. without any of her children present. Yeah, like <laughs> her son in law almost there. Yeah, well, I don't think they're married yet, are they? Can't believe Josh was doing meth. Crack. And, was and, it meth or crack? I, meth is crack. Meth is crack? Isn't no. It? That's not right. Isn't, 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 crack is isn't cocaine. Crack just cocaine. meth and cocaine put together? No. no meth crack is, is crack meth. cocaine. Like it's meth rock. We, we, you watch All Bring Bad? <laughs> you, don't know, you don't know meth's different than crack? <laughs> uh, I, I thought crack was a mixture of two things, and one of those things is meth. 
Am I wrong? Okay. I, I mean, I mean, me wrong. There, I have no okay. problem if I'm incorrect. There are this. crack rocks. Yeah. So that could be a mixture of the two. But meth itself is not mm -hmm. cocaine or crack. So crack may be the mixture of both of them then. If that's the case. But I know meth is different than cocaine. Mm -hmm. So maybe I know that much. Maybe the difference is just like it's it's both it's crack cocaine, commonly known simply as crack, also known as rock, is a free base form of the stimulant cocaine that can be smoked. Whereas cocaine typically is snorted. Yeah, cocaine is the the powder and crack is like the the cooked down <clears throat> I don't know what you'd call it, varnish, yeah. <laughs> I guess. How do you turn cocaine into crack? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Is it like the the boiled down sap or something of the, the cocaine plant or something? Either way, I will try to increase my knowledge on drugs. <laughs> Between this video and the next. <laughs> no, because I, I just remember just a, lot later of, today. Uh, a lot of Breaking Bad having like all their stuff with meth and stuff, but I don't remember if they did much with cocaine, did they? I don't know. Hmm. Don't remember. Been a long time now. I know they had but, some weed. Like Badger had his, so, yeah, his weed stuff. So that's why I don't know if they were like, if he just like, because at one point he's like, "Are you smoking meth?" Barely. <laughs> <laughs> Barely. And then he said he's smoking crack out there. So I, 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 don't know like, I think I have to fire you for this. It's like, you I wonder if they were trying to sit in the writers' room being like, "What could he be doing that there is no question he should be fired on?" What was it that he said that was like? You're acting so weird right now. Was that what it was? He, yeah. He had something like that. Yep. He, he did. Yeah. yeah. So in the writer's room, they were like... I'm just trying to think like, you know, it, it just sounds like one of those things where like, you have to think of something that, no question, he should be fired for. What is Josh doing? I, I love that Marcus was like, I think I should, I think I should fire you right now. Yeah. Like, Fire me for this? Like, yeah, I'm pretty uh, sure. He was so flabbergasted. Hold on, let me, let me go check. <laughs> and he went and checked. He I got like, permission to fire him for smoking crack at work. Well, I like whenever they were talking uh, about it, and it was like, yeah, he says it really, you know, just gets him going with it, you know? Or Like, you saw him like, chopping veggies earlier? Yeah, they're like, huh. <laughs> like, <laughs> I was like, maybe that explains I was like, oh, shit, man, are they going to just let him stay? Did he cut, I, cut carrots that well? At first I thought, I was like, man. Maybe, maybe it's but you okay. Can't, you can't rely on him in the kitchen, though. No, if he's just gonna step out right when the rush happens, that's that's just so funny, though. <laughs> like, what, what else could he have been doing where you'd be like, I gotta fire you? It's like, do you? It's like, maybe. Hang on, I'll be right back. Like, I'm trying. What, what else? I don't know. Do? Like fucking a hooker in the alley. <laughs> like, yeah, maybe. Like, what other level of Im unprofessionalism is there than yeah, smoking like, crack? Where is that you to question it? Yeah, I think I do. <laughs> Carm's such an interesting character. Like, his anxiety becomes, like, the wolf part of his werewolf sometimes, you know? Like, it, it comes out, and he's, you know, hitting against the door and scratching against the door and all this energy against the door. But when finally it's actually being cut for him from the outside, he's, like, he's completely he's exhausted. He's exhausted and completely down and stuff. I just... Like that anxiety, like it did nothing for him but just lash out at people, you know? Sure. Sometimes can people can, and I feel like he's done this before, like he can use that to fuel a passion or fuel his, his cooking. Like being anxious on impressing that guy who wasn't even there, like can be a good thing, but he it left untreated, it can like roll over and, I mean, granted, Richie also kind of tired him out as well, right? But I, I just, I love that last shot of, like, he is literally still stuck inside his own head, and we're trying to get him out of there, but he, he just, you know, sure he kind of embodied that I don't need to provide amusement or enjoyment feeling there. It's like, I don't need it, I don't want it, and until he can actually be honest and let people in, like, he's going to stay that way, you know? Hmm. Such an interesting character. So much room for growth. Mm-hmm. And I love uh, fact. Oh, go ahead. Uh, Sydney's thing too, where like, mm -hmm. uh, I, I like the moment of like, you know, cannolis, cannolis, fuck, fuck, yeah. fuck. Like yeah, it just got great. worse and worse. But um, her like, I assume what it is like, her stress led her up to throwing up, mm -hmm. and it was so thick that she was still hearing that thing print off. Yeah. Like when we talked about last time, whenever the last time we really heard that, 
Mm -hmm. It went to credits, and you could just hear, they're still going. Yeah. And it's like she was still living in that moment of, like, the anxiety and Mm -hmm. the panic and everything from it that she just went and threw up. Yeah. Even though it was all done, she couldn't do anything else, you know? But, I mean, and it was so little to to make that go away. It was just her dad being like, it was amazing. Like, and being there for her. Like, she she is just holding all this baggage and not realizing, like, oh, with one little conversation, I don't have to hold this all by myself, you know? That's one of Carmen's problems. He doesn't do that. The mom definitely doesn't do that. Mm. I like that they Michael did. Michael didn't do it. Yeah. And now Richie's wow. better at it. Mm-hmm. He is. I like, I like them giving the soda to the dad. It's like, we got drinks coming. It's like, oh, I don't drink. Yeah. I'm a soda guy. So we know. He had yep. like a cold cart full of soda. I love that. Oh, that was cool. The anticipation. I'm trying to remember, was there a story with Cicero and the chocolate banana? I feel like there was like, like that during one of the like the kids with parties things. or something, but and I was trying to see I if I cannot wrote remember anything down where he was you know talking about a good time that he had some time or another you know it sounds familiar I just can't remember the details right now because it's one of those things where you know reading their minds and it's like what would resonate with him really well it's like well when he was a kid you know there was that one time when sure whatever it was and didn't like, you tell like a story during the. The family dinner. I can't remember what it was. Said, like the though. party? When they knocked all the kids out? Yeah. No, the family dinner that we last saw the mom at. Oh, it was... Yeah, in yeah. Seven Fishes, Ces- Cesaro mentions that he used to eat them as a kid, and the smell takes him back to that time. So it's just a small detail for Richie to make some of Thanksgiving even extra special. Like, he's, it's tailored to you, not just sure. being in the restaurant. Yeah, yeah, because like most restaurants I go to, it's like, all right, well, we have you know, chocolate cake, yeah. this ice cream dish, or a, you know, creme brulee. Yeah, and like, okay, that's all you. That, that's it. Mm-hmm. You get those three options. But this is like a catered dessert. Yeah, and I, I like that. It, it, it reminds me more needs. of like the pizza moment, you know? Yeah, mm-hmm. where like he's wanting this to have that experience thing. So it's like, oh, you want to drink? Here's some sodas because we know what you need. I feel yeah. like that Richie, reading the minds thing. I feel like Richie like loved that part the most when he was observing when he was shadowing at the other restaurant. Sure, yeah. Because there's an element of like you're almost like tricking people, or you're like it's a surprise, but it's kind of like a, you know, it's not just doing a nice thing; it's doing a nice thing without them knowing it's going to happen. I think that he gets like a certain award, like reward system out of like tricking you because he kind of used to do that back in the day when he would do scams and stuff. Sure. But now it's like tricking for uh, a positive way. Yeah. No, I, I I get what you mean. I, I think he shined really well in this one, and hopefully he can keep a good. Yeah, like, it feels like he Dota. he has like all like he hasn't rerolled his stats. He just changed his class to suit the stats that he has. <laughs> yeah, know? like I'm already good at this and this and yeah. this. I like stories, so I'm good at listening yeah. to stories or whatever. And the reading mind aspect. Yeah, like we told Fact, get out there and read minds. Yeah. And all right. The the guy who wasn't Jeff Winger. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Jeff Winger look alike. I guess. But he was credited in here. Yeah. I mean, he was definitely in Carmen's yeah. mind. It's one of those things where we talk about, like, that just that anxiety and the stress and everything. Like, they show it in different ways. Mm-hmm. And that's just one of, like, Carmen's just peaking real high. It's like, yeah. he mm-hmm. just looked over and just, for a second glance, and he then saw freaked what, out about everything. Yeah. I mean, like, these, he saw these what he long. both wanted to and didn't mm-hmm. want to see. Right? Yeah. All right, well, that was a lot of the bear, and you might say, that's enough bear for today. But it's not. But it's not. Also, we're addressing multiple time streams all at once in this video. There are some people that are watching watching on early access that are saying, there's no new bear today, this is a month ago. And we'll be like, sorry, but we always make these videos for you, the YouTube watcher, and sometimes people get early access. But for those people there, thank you so much also for supporting us on early access at blindwave.com. If the bear was a show, that you got Blind Wave Beyond 4, we hope that uh, you're doubly excited because we're going to be trying to get ahead on the new season as well. Yes. Right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. 30th. Yes. So uh, make sure you guys are watching out for that next one. Turn on your notification bell for when it pops up and uh, be a little bit patient as we get early access on for the rest of the stuff. Uh, I know a lot of you had to wait for the bear, but we only have to wait a little less than a day. <laughs> Except we don't. We really, really do have to wait because of early access. So. Thank you so much for watching The Bear so far. This is the end of this poll slot, 
and we're uh, shifting off to the next. So not only did you have an episode of The Bear coming out later today, there's a whole other episode of something else that came out. So check that out because we're always watching something and we always want you to come along. Mm -hmm. Except porn. <laughs>